Hello, fourth graders. This is using its in its page 246. So this is actually part of your homework for Tuesday. Tuesday's homework was uh, pages 244 through, through 246. So I I separated pages 244 and 245 to its uh, for its own video. So look for that in a uh, different video. Okay, if you need help with uh, those. Uh, two pages. All right, so this but this video is only two forty six. All right, so let's get started. Pretty easy today. Um, I think you guys shouldn't have any problems with uh, today's lesson. All right, so we're learning the difference between its and its with uh, the apostrophe. Okay. All right, so the its without an apostrophe is a possessive pronoun shows ownership uh, so for example I can say uh, the cat lost its toy all right so whose toy is it belong does the toy belong to it belongs to the cat so we will use it's the one with the without the apostrophe all right this next one it's so I T apostrophe S is a contraction for it is. Okay, I should put these in quotes. So it's plus is equals it's. All right. So if I combine it and is together, it it's. <coughs> I would make the word. Yeah, I would make the word it's. All right, a contraction, kind of smush it together. So example sentence would be um, it's cold today. So instead of saying it's cold today, I can break, I can split it's into it is, and it'll still make sense. So I can say it's cold today, or I can say it is cold today. All right. So a lot of people make um, these this mistake when they're writing. They'll forget to put the apostrophe next to the s. So make sure you do that. But when you're speaking, you know there's there's no way, no way you can make the mistake when you're speaking out loud because no one knows. If you're adding the apostrophe at the end, okay. But just know that when you're writing, it's make sure you're using the correct one, all right? Either it's possessive or it's it's the contraction. It is. Let's go over some example sentences down here. All right. So to figure out whether you should use the it's with the uh, without the apostrophe or with the apostrophe, you can uh, just test it. All right. Test it with the it it is. If it still makes sense after you fill in the blank with it is, then you would use the uh, one with the apostrophe. If it doesn't make sense, then you would use the one without the apostrophe. All right, so let's try it. So I think blank is time to go. So I think it is time to go. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does make sense. So I would need to use the apostrophe s it's. All right, let's try the next one. The cat lost its ball of yarn. So sorry, the cat lost its is ball of yarn. Does that make sense to you? No, that kind of sounds kind of strange, right? The cat lost its is ball of yarn. So we don't use the one. We don't use the one with the apostrophe. So we use it. You use the its without the apostrophe. So the cat lost its ball of yarn. The bird made a nest for its is chicks. Mm, nope, that sounds really off. So we don't use the one with the apostrophe, all right? So the possessive it's since the chicks is owned by the bird, yeah. Same thing for the ball of yarn. The cat, the ball of yarn belongs to the cat, so we use it's without the apostrophe s. Because it is raining outside, I'm staying home. Does that make sense to you? Because it is raining outside, I'm staying home, yeah, that makes sense. So you would use the one with the contraction. All right. So pretty easy. Let's look at our um, worksheet. Think A. So write its or its apostrophe s in the blank. So let's use our it is test. All right. So fill in the blank with it is. If it makes sense, then use the one with the contraction. All right, so it is going to be a beautiful day. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So I would need to use the 
it's with the contractions. Make sure you capitalize the I because it's the first letter of the sentence. Alrighty, so I think you guys can do the rest on your own. So for example, the bird built it is nest in a tall tree. Does that make sense? If it does make sense, you would use the it's apostrophe s. If it does not make sense, you would use the one without the apostrophe. It's the possessive form. Alright, think B. If the sentence is correct, write C correct in the blank. You could just write, mm, yeah, just, just write correct in the blank. If the sentence is incorrect, write in the blank the word which would make it correct. All right. So remember, we're looking for, we're, we're examining the it's. Okay, so maybe if you underline all the it's in the sentence, it might help you just kind of focus more. Um, okay. Here, here, one here, and here. All right, so the butterfly came slowly out of it is cocoon. Does that make sense to you? The butterfly came slowly out of it is cocoon? Mm, no. Okay. They use the apostrophe S. So this member, apostrophe S means it is. Since this does not make sense, we would need to write the correct form of it, which should be this should have been this one. Let's see this one. Number two, because it's, so it doesn't have the apostrophe S, so it's just, it's very cold. Our pond will probably freeze. But let's see if it makes sense if we add the it is apostrophe S in it. Because it is very cold, our pond will probably freeze. Oh, since it is does make sense, and they didn't use the apostrophe S, this is incorrect. So it should be it's apostrophe s. So do the same thing for all of them. All right, test it with it's is. If it's if they don't have the correct form it's then um, write the correct form here. If the sentence makes sense, then you would write the word correct. Okay? All right, so that's it for the, for this page. Not too bad. If you have any questions, as always, you can contact me. All right. Goodbye, guys.